Good afternoon and welcome to Old Men Stories Opry. I'm Angie Singer and with Roland Willits. And Roland Willits, um, you're here today to talk about not Old Men Stories Opry, which we do on a daily basis, it seems like, but you're here today to tell us about mystic magic and give us a, a little synopsis, a definition of what mystic magic is for um, those who haven't been yeah, watched the other following three, the other three. <laughs> yeah. That's right, because today we're watching, we're listening to chapter four. Oh, mystic magic is cool. Mystic magic is cool. It's a, it's a good word for it. You know, when you have this, man, that's cool. And yeah, that's all you can say. It sort of doesn't cover much, does it? No. Cool doesn't cover, but... When you experience oh, it, and yeah, when you experience it and see it and, 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 and are there, that really sort of, wow, that's whatever your good, whatever your special word is, and you feel, have all these feelings, and, and your mind lightens up, and everything just really is experiential. And this whole experiential process is mystic magic. And you mentioned one time when you were trying to define what is mystic magic, or you were trying to find a word and you came up with mystic magic, it was when you're trying to define something like love. Yes. Or something like the beauty of a rose. Yeah. And there just aren't enough words, or there, the words aren't there. That's mystic That's right, magic. that's right. There's, there's how many love sonnets, there's poems have we read? Forever. And, and, and they all... They're searching for... They all touch around it. Mm -hmm. The actual experience is mystic magic. Mystic or love. Magic. They're, they're synonymous almost and with love. I think mystic magic is, a, is a, a more broader term. But love, in all its magnificent processing in our lives, is Mystic Magic. It's mystic Magic. Now in Chapter 1 of Mystic Magic, the song, in Chapter 1 we touched on birth and knowledge. Right. And then in Chapter 2, Mystic Magic is sun. Right. And telling stories. Right. That's Chapter 2. In Chapter 3, Mystic Magic is religion. And mystic magic is government. Just, just help the world. Help the world. <laughs> and now in chapter four, we're going to address three topics. And three topics are light, right? Nature. 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 And then light. light. And then death as right. your final chapter. Wow. Three had cool. three tough subjects to touch on, <clears throat> but they are. But they are mystic magic, and they are beautiful. Every one of them, including death, it's it, 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 it's a process that we get to look at through our whole lives. I mean, we get to look at that. We know it's going to happen from the time we can breathe a little to yeah. the time it happens, and we get to look and experience all of the thoughts around it. And then no one ever can come back and tell you what's there. Yeah, that's right. That's why it's mystic magic. It's, oh, it's a mystic magic thing. Yeah. And it's something we all participate in daily. But, and it's something I, 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 what I call avoidance, it's one of the things I avoid. Because then I don't know if there's still mystic magic there, but I do know there's mystic magic in my life right this moment. So I'm Max it. There you go. That's the way to approach everything. <laughs> so we listened to chapters one, two, and three, and now today the final chapter, right. chapter four. And remember I said about light? Yes, light. And you know, I remember I gave you an example about driving in a truck. Because you, you know, you drove a few times with Al. Oh, yes. And, and A few and times it, too many. <laughs> but remember, remember when I went over some of, the, some of the big mountains out in the Rockies, and all of a sudden this big 
vista came. We had this beautiful, and it just happened to be the light just having a beautiful. Makes you do an inhale. Yeah, that's mystic magic. And so, and then, and you try to explain it to someone, and the only thing you can do is point, look, and they look, and that's the only. That's, and then, it's mystic the magic. words aren't there. It's that's just right. mystic magic. <laughs> well, today we'll listen to chapter four. And I sure hope you've enjoyed our journey through mystic magic and trying to describe mystic magic, listening to words written by Roland Willett, the beautiful story. And sang and the melody created by Angie Sayer. And the melody is awesome. You've got to hear this. So we hope you enjoy it as much as we did taking you on the journey. Thanks for being here, Roland. Thank you.